Hello guys and welcome to Tour Review TV. On this episode I will be reviewing the biggest of the Dino sets, the recent Dino sets to be released, which is set 5887 and this set is called the Dino Defense HQ. It comes with 793 pieces and has an age range of 6 to 12. Uh, this set is quite expensive, it's £79.99 here in the UK, but you do get some awesome features with this and some awesome dinosaurs. Those being the T-Rex, which you can see there on your right, uh, the Raptor, which is the brown dinosaur, and the Silophysis, which is the green dinosaur, which also comes in another set, which is the smaller of the sets. So this uh, dinosaur is issued twice. Well, Sam's a T-Rex, get two of those, but obviously different colours to, uh, to each set. Uh, this set comes with four Hero minifigures, which you can see in front of you there, and you get one sticky sheet with this set which is this and it comes with 18 stickers and I have, I've still got one on the sticker sheet there which I've missed out somewhere but I'm sure I'll find out where that goes later and it comes with three instruction manuals the first one being the vehicles and then the other two being the main set itself Right then guys, I'm going to shift things around a little bit now and then we'll have a look at the set itself. Ok and then guys, so let's start with the two vehicles that come with this set. And let's start with the Jeep. And it comes with four solid rubber wheels. It comes with the tool chest at the back, which if you just take that piece off the top, there's a couple of tools in there. Like a, a wrench and a hammer, a walk talkie on the back, there's a flick missile on the side with this translucent base, and then also we have a sticker application to the front there, a nice big fat bull bar to the front. Actually, missing a stud off there as well, I'll find that later. And then just a steering wheel, a couple of translucent pieces for the actual windscreen. But that's pretty much it guys, quite a basic design, the vehicle. Let's put that to one side and then we'll get on to the helicopter, which is this. And also another basic design, comes with the one propeller there, a couple of sticker applications on the, on the rear tail section. Not much going on in the body there, very thin. And then we've got the propellers on the top, which are made up of four one section pieces that just clip in there. And we have a couple of missiles on the side. They're not flick missiles, but you can just pull them off. And these come with the, uh, the translucent tip as well. Those wings will pivot up and down. Not that you'd need them to, but that feature is there should you need it. Comes with a bit of a radar dish on the front, uh, another sticker application to that piece there, and a couple of uh, levers to steer the thing. But that is pretty much it for that as well. Another, as I've said, basic design. Let's get on to the HQ itself. Right then, so let's start with this lever, which rotates as you can see, it extends quite far. To the outer limits of the HQ and then they've got this net piece which is your standard net piece which you get in quite a lot of sets and that will just attach to this swiveling hook and then the idea of this is you can just pick a dinosaur up and then it's supposed to just hold the dinosaur in the net so if we experiment with this Slophosis I'll get used to saying that one of these days. Uh, there you go, there's a dinosaur, nice and trapped. Not very good, a bit sloppy. <laughs> but uh, it was just a, a quick trapping. So yeah, that is what that arm is for. You've got quite a few sticker applications which are to the front ends there and they're all uh, damaged electrical panels. A bit like a Jurassic Park theme there with the damage electrics it's very very uh, 
close to the Jurassic Park theme I will say. Uh, got the gates on the front there, we've got some spikes as well which move. I saw like, the red an arm piece just with a like a spear section on the end and then we have the chains on the front of the gate that will just clip off and the gates will open. What I will say is this, this piece here is very flimsy so if you do want to transport this move it around this always tends to break apart because it is the thinnest part of the set it's not such a big deal it's quite easy to put back together again okay then guys so let's do it in four sections so you can see it a bit better uh, this is the right hand section there and this includes that one piece of the gate and at the top there you can see it's just a standing platform and some railings that go across and then the railings carry on to this extended piece of the windows but not much else there nice hollow section in there that you could uh, store things or add to the set a bit like the castle sets really with the hollow section and then we've got a couple of like, trees or vegetation protruding from the side that's that piece and then onto the piece at the front left it's got the other gate piece as well and as you can see at the top it's exactly the same just the standing platform with the railings and this flick missile system which we uh, just went over and again a nice hollow section in the corner there that maybe we could you could store things in ok then guys so let's get on to the rear of the set and here we have the refilling station and it has the two large window pieces and a small window piece at the side and it is mirrored there too these holes are for the interlocking system which holds the set together so you can take it apart with ease inside there we have a couple of circular pieces with stickers on, refill um, a nice circular translucent piece there as well I like, I'm liking these green translucent pieces I do like those and we have some trank darts as well not much more going on in there and on the top we have the helipad and then at the side we've got this little section that you can just slot on there and it has the helmets for when they get into the helicopter to operate it uh, the helicopter will just sit on that one stud section there quite easily but it will stay on quite nicely but will come off easily so very nice that but not much more going on there and let's get on to the control centre yes we've got this little wall section on the side and this is the gate, I'll just winch it up so you can see it from the side you should be seeing it from that's quite nice, and you'll see it going up past the control tower there and that is operated by this winch on the top and then we've got a couple of p uh, yellow pieces with stickers on there and we have a radar dish to the side with a very long antenna this radar dish you can rotate the radar dish so that was the roof that we saw just and then there you can see bird's eye view of the control tower so yes guys quite a nice little set that ok then guys so that's it for this review on set 5887 the Dino Defence HQ and it is a nice set it's a little delicate between the corner sections, the actual piece that joins them together can be a little delicate. Um, it's really expensive at £79.99. I think it could have been a little bit cheaper, but the dinos are awesome. Uh, so it is worth it just for the dinosaurs, especially the T-Rex, because it is just amazing and the Raptor is also pretty awesome as well I really really do like those two dinosaurs so yeah you're gonna get a lot of playability out of this set guys with the helicopter you've got the, the car as well 
the dinosaurs and minifigures lots of features on the set to be playing with so the playability factor is very very high for this one so it is worth it if you want to buy it to play with it and get a lot of good play out of it you will be happy with this but that's it anyway guys thanks for tuning in to this review I do appreciate it and thanks for all your subscriptions uh, I, I do appreciate that very very much and all your comments as well but uh, until next time guys take care and happy collecting